having a glorious day. Have you ever been in a mood to draw a fairy? I have always enjoyed fantasy. One of my favorite book series is Magic Kingdom for Sale, sold by Terry Brooks. A man thinking he's just buying a vacation package for a gimmick realizes he's bought a magical kingdom. Very fun read. I really recommend it. Especially now when so many books coming out are losing that wholesomeness. Another great series is, of course, from C.S. Lewis, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. I realize there are a lot of Christians who believe magic and fantasy is just the work of evil. But I think, just like all things in life, it's all about how you use it. Are you using it to glorify God? Is it being used to promote good over evil? To love no matter what? To teach forgiveness? I recently came across this verse and it's stuck with me. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not ir irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. 1 Corinthians 13, verse 4 through 7. This is unconditional love. When was the last time you read anything that came out recently that has this message? Or is it the selfishness, evil triumphing, uplifting lifestyles that are contrary to what God has set type of message? And when I talk about magic and fantasy, I'm talking make-believe. The wonders of the imagination that God has given us. This kind, the kind that sends kids into the backyard looking under leaves to see if they can find fairies, or jumping around trying to fly. Not the magic of this world, such as witchcraft, divination, demon worship. Not the kind that encourages selfishness, no matter the cost, rather than the goodness of love. Remember, Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it completely. Proverbs 28.5 God gifted us with vibrant imaginations, and I believe he wants us to use it. If it is for him and from him, he will bless it. I think it's also important to remember Hebrews 13.8 Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. God doesn't change his mind. His pure love that is honestly mind-boggling to me. It's hard to grasp sometimes. Put your trust in Christ and he will lead you. And I think you will find your imagination and creativity will refocus on glorifying him. Anyway, I hope my ramblings made sense to you. Thank you for watching.